Well, it's Bill Carlo 4x4 Van out here at Van Headquarters today. Um, doing a little demolition on the Van Pod. <coughs> That's what I'm calling it now. I changed it from the Van Caboose to the Van Pod. I like that better. Maybe I can get some plates like that. But I stripped the inside. Um, some things that were found out for an update from my last uh, video up at hunting camp. There was a short in the wiring. And now I see why. A lot of lamp cord used. <laughs> uh, so very suspect wiring. So I have to rewire it, but that's okay. And uh, But I got the inside out just to verify what was here. And it looks like it was, um, if not precisely made, it was definitely made to last a thousand years. I mean, everything is, is uh, channel every foot welded in. And then he used uh, wood. Um, one by twos bolted to that to hook his paneling in and uh, the main wire coming in has a tube around it which is nice but the rest of it is just this a mixture of lamp cord and uh, really tiny wires um, there is some surface rust on that sheet metal doesn't look like it was painted so probably from condensation nothing too serious see the van was green originally and uh, the back door, the window was put in with sheet metal, so it's metal there. It's not um, wood, as I feared. Haven't opened that side yet, but uh, so a new plan. Um, see what you guys think, but I'm thinking that what I want to do is um, turn this whole thing into multi-use. Like it, I want to put a drain in the middle, I think and make the whole thing to be able to use as a shower or the dogs can be in here or I could roll my quad in here it will just barely fit I measured all this so it will fit in my quad could roll in here and then you can just hose it out and uh, so it'll be just a big open area that can be used for just about anything it could be used for a shower to clean up um, I might get a toilet that I can keep in the corner over there or something, a little fancier one that has its own tank probably, but keep that in here and uh, keep the plumbing to a minimum, but I still want to, hey boys, watch out, got the Rottweiler Security Service with us here today. <coughs> I still want to build my box here that will hold the uh, water heater that I have over there, water pump. And I'll go over the van stuff here in a minute. But I did get um, courtesy of my dad, thanks dad, and other people that gave me gift cards for um, Christmas, which is always my favorite because I can get van stuff. Um, I'm going to upgrade the solar in the van. I got a Blue Sky charge controller, so I'm going to get rid of the... I'm going to take that one out. And move it to this and I got another hundred watt solar panel the same one that I have on top of the van up there I'm gonna put that on top of this and I'll have that charge controller and it's already got the battery here and I already have the uh, the connection here so what I plan to do is have this so it could stand alone have its own solar system that'll keep everything charged for the water pump um, lights and everything else that's with this um, keep the same solar panels on this but I have a couple of different things some other wiring things I want to do and whatnot in here and but have them when they're connected together I'll have 230 watts of solar um, I don't think having two solar controllers will matter because they should just try to charge each other and when they're charged it should um, cut off on both sides so it shouldn't matter if they hook together and uh, but then if I pull off and go somewhere with this and this is in camp this will still be able to function and uh, it'll double my solar capacity when they're hooked together which is something I want to do without having to clog up my roof anymore up there it's already pretty crowded up here I could put another one up front there but you know then you'd see it and I don't know about the wind coming from the front so I'd rather not do that up here. I'd rather do it up there. 
and then we'll have uh, separate systems. And like I said, when I disconnect the van from the trailer, it will still have its own. Uh, it'll still have its own power and able to run. So that's the plan there. And then in here, I don't know if you can see it. I think I'm decided to nix this. I'm going to build something here, come out to about here with a little counter here and move this door out to the front so there's more storage and then a bookshelf facing that way. It'll keep that more together. And then I think I'm just going to go ahead and raise this countertop up. I'll reskin the side of that. I have to put a new countertop here for that new sink. I'll reskin the side of this, get rid of those things. Raise this countertop up and put the cooktop right there since it has that wood insert um, to put in it when it's not being used and that way I keep my floor space open and I still accomplish all the goals I had with the heater and the cooktop there'll be a little more countertop space here there'll be a little more countertop space around the sink because I'm going to make that overhang a little bit so that and that sink is smaller and round so it should have more counter space there same counter stays here, although I might make it overhang a little bit out the front a little more. And we'll just redo all that. And then I've got a list of electrical things with the new solar. I have to find a place to put the Blue Sky charger. I'll put a picture of that here. And um, I have to find a place to put that. And I'm thinking I'm going to move my battery bank back under the bed here while I'm redoing all that plumbing that I talked about. And then this cabinet will open up. I'll still have my fuse box in there, but this will open up for more storage, which will take away the need for this cabinet I was going to have here. I can put all my pots and pans and other stuff under there. And I think that's what I'm going to do now. Because I really thought about it long and hard, and having that floor space, especially when there's two of us, um, really is nice. So I think I'm going to, I think that's what I'm going to do. At any rate, that's the update, and I'll post another video as soon as I have some more progress to show you. Until then.